Yo guys, what's going on? Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of my routine for finding an item of the week. Now, I do want to say just right out of the gate, guys, if you do have not played the game or you do not have the knowledge of Tarkov, this is not going to go well for you because there's certain items you can target right away and know they're going to be worth more than some other items. Like, you don't want to snipe screwdrivers and construction measuring tape when you could be sniping hot rods and Tarkola. It's just, you know, it's just common sense in the game. If you don't have that in-game knowledge, you're really going to struggle with this. And I just wanted to let you know that you have to at least play the game a little bit to know what you're doing. And obviously, if you have the flea market unlock, you've played the game a little bit. Hopefully, um, you know, about 50 hours is a good starting point on getting some general knowledge. But guys, what is one thing that I do all the time? Well, it's kind of in between. Sometimes I'll just sit here and go through the list. Now, this is the method I showed on the dominance video where you can literally just click through these sections if you see something out of place like this you can go ahead and buy all of it and that is going to make us some cash right there as i can show you guys here i think that was 762 and those are the tracers i gotta find them here these guys he listed them for six they're worth 30 a piece and i think we got like 30 of them i don't know how many we got but nonetheless it's very simple you can go that method if you want where you just kind of scroll through and, um, you know, you look for stuff that's cheap. These lead slugs. Let's see, he wants 20 for those. There's no sled. You know, you can put, put them up for 23. And if there's only a one fee on them, you're good. But, you know, it's very simple stuff like that that can make you a ton of money in this game just by, you know, starting out with this method. You can scroll through, click, 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 and, you know, maybe find a couple good deals here and there. You can also do this with the armor tab. And you can go more in-depth with armor. You can take operational weapons only and snipe um just regular armor that is you know broken and you can actually sell those broken armors for a lot because sometimes they are worth a good bit if you get a full gen 4 full protection not an assault kit it's worth a lot more than like a high mobility or assault kit so um that's actually a really good price for uh 12k and that durability and that's why it's gone and mine's still here when it's a six of six but you know it's just an example so one thing I really like to do is target the barter items. It's just one of the better things in the game to target because barter items are a lot more common than, you know, finding, I can't give you a good example, but they're just more common. So what I would do is just the valuables, for example. Now, this is more of a targeted one where you would buy and then resell the therapist. Therapist buys all of this valuable crap. So, you know, this is kind of a target towards therapist, but... For example, Bitcoin is always getting sniped by bots, it seems like now. You can't, you just can't get Bitcoin anymore for rubles. Um, I think that's why everybody's kind of moved over to euros. But Bitcoin sells to therapists for like 145000 So if you could find one under 145000 you can sell it to therapists and make money. So you got to have general knowledge of prices for therapists. That's number two. You need to have the general knowledge for that. So everything in this game is basically knowledge based. If you have knowledge in this game, you will pretty much do just as well as someone who's good at their gunfights. But if you want to find an item that's going to do well, here is my number one tip. Look at the quantities being sold. If you find a lot of them, but know that item's worth a lot, there's a good chance you can flip it. And what do I mean by that? English T, 115 listings. That's quite high. And it's worth about 20K roughly. So we're going to click on that. And as you guys can see, it's worth about that 20K. Now, I think Therapist buys this for under 20K somewhere. So if you could find these T's, you know, you get them for 18, 17K when they go down, you know they're going to sell for 20. So we'll take that one right there. We bought it for 19,000. We'll take it here. Okay, there's 500 profit. It's not a lot of profit, but it's easy to make money. So, you know, little items like that that are going to go down, people are going to snipe them um, or list them lower to sell them right away. It's just one example of an item that you can make a ton of money on. Wilston cigarettes. Here's a great example. We're going to buy this one. 5,500. We're going to go to therapist. We're going to go to sell. We're going to take those cigarettes and sell them to her for 5,988. Once again, knowing your knowledge is going to make you tons of money. You can do that constantly with these. If you wanted, you can make 55 rubles per on this. There's no fee selling to the dealers. I'll show you that now. Actually make 88 per. So there you go. You just bought yourself like 
50 rounds of the worst uh, pistol PM ammo. I mean, what more could you want? There we go. We just made, we got how many of those? Six of those times like 200 profit. That's like over a little over a thousand. You know, it's not exactly 200, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, I mean, it's super easy just knowing the general knowledge in this game. It's super, super easy. You just got to, you know, take the time, take a little initiative, learn. Water filters, usually around 60K, a little inflated right now. So you can wait till inflated time of the day, buy at 60K, then resell for 75. One item that is in our investment series is the key card, which I haven't checked up on. So this is nice to see at 160K. These were selling for when the appreciation package came out for 120. Now they are up to 160. And as you can see, Suda had about 400 of these puppies stacked up and he's selling them for euros. So very smart move because euros keep going up in this game. And now we're finally at Therapist's price, which I predicted would happen and it did. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But I think these are going to keep going. Probably 170 at least. That's probably what I'm going to sell mine, honestly. 170, 175. I know we get there. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, your knowledge really does matter. So we're going to head into provisions. This is one of the best places to make some really easy profit. Provisions are everywhere. They're always spawning. Sugar is an absolutely insane one that I haven't done for items of the week yet. I've been a little reluctant because it's such a volatile item and it gets sniped pretty hard. So 45, this might seem like a good price, but in reality, sugar's super inflated right now. 50K, that's 10K over. Sugar usually sells for 40. So seeing a 45 might be good in the moment and you might be able to make some quick cash, but if you snipe too many of them, you can get burned in the long run and you have to wait till, you know, the next time they're inflated. Sometimes sugar goes way up. So we can try here. 45K, I'm going to miss it. And sniping sugar is definitely hard. And one other thing I want to mention is when you are sniping, there is the possibility that you will get a really good deal. Like if someone misses a zero, 4,650 rubles, you know, you're you're getting that at 10% of what it's listed for. So we'll see if I can get one here. It's probably not going to happen, but it's just an example. We can try another one. Um, croutons. Croutons are huge, man. Um, all these foods are actually really huge for when they're sold to fence because fence sells them. He flips them for like 300 rubles. So you could sit here in the food section, sometimes drink too. Definitely not as common as the food, but, um, you could sit here in the food section, refreshing snipe croutons for 500, 300 rubles, whatever they are and sell them for 2000 all day long. Now fence doesn't always sell them, but when he does, it's just extra profit in your pocket. So we got another one here. This is a pretty common one that I'd like to snipe a lot. Squash. It has gone down significantly in price. When I started playing, it was around 30K. Now it's down to 14. But if you can snipe squash at around the 12K range, they'll resell for 15. So you just got to know your prices. And if you know your prices, you'll know what to snipe. And it just goes from there. So croutons here. Therapist is selling them. I didn't know she sold those. But um, I, think the, I think those are different croutons, honestly. I think there's other ones in here, but I might just be missing them. Yeah, these ones. These are the ones that I try to snipe from fence. But every single item in here actually is resellable. The MREs sell well. You can get these. You can snipe these for 10K all day and flip them for 13. You can, what else? We got the lunch boxes, same story. You can buy them for 10K, flip them for 12. Condensed milk is a pretty good one. This one will sell to therapists for about this 18K price. It's probably going to be, yeah, right around here. 18,600 that's what therapist is going to buy them for so sometimes you can find these at 15k it's a really good buy can of sprats these sell to therapists for 7,500 so these have gone up pretty significantly i do believe this is a trade item and some of these other items as well all of these food items you can snipe and make a ton of money on um that right here that's money i think that's 800 profit 400 profit that's my fault uh, still 400 in the bank guys it really is coming down to your knowledge on prices in the game the chocolate bars these are way up right now if you find these at 15k that's usually the normal price of them um you know with this update i haven't been playing as much so prices definitely this could be the new norm for these chocolate bars but at the end of the day um the usual price on them is going to be like 15k you can snipe pretty much anything in this game and that is not a joke um that might be a pretty good buy we'll chance that Okay, terrible buy. Actually, hold up. Let's try and work this a little bit. Okay. 
Might have been a semi-decent buy. I don't know what the fee is on these. But if it's bad, I need them for a quest anyway. Okay, so let me see what the fee is on these guys. So we're going to relist these. Alright, so if we list them all, we're making 500 on each of them. Easy money, you know? Just like spotting those little things, you don't you don't hesitate. Not going to buy that. Uh, it is one of two. If it would have been two of two, eh, still an iffy. Sometimes you can make a lot of cash here in the med kits, but honestly, you have to get super lucky, and you're going to have to not misclick. Like, if you misclick, you are going to be hurting. Sometimes you can make a ton of cash on painkillers. This is actually a really good price on all of them, and they're already gone. Um, painkillers is one that I've sniped before. They're a super common med, and um, they consistently sell for what Therapist has them at, about that 4,000 mark. And people will list them at the you know 2K, 3K range. However, you need to be watching out for people selling used painkillers when they're at 1 of 4, 2 of 4, 3 of 4. There's a lot of factors when it comes into items of the week, man. I try to get you guys the best and easiest items. Key cards. That's a really good one, too. My phone's ringing right now, so I'm trying to keep talking and talk over it. But guys, can oh my god. Money all day. Literally money all day. Alright, we just made 200k. Anyway, key cards are really good. Um, greens are really inflated. Reds are super inflated. Um, these were just 36 million, and now they are 42 million, which is insane to me. Um, I've been looking at the red key cards for an investment of the week, and it's just... I don't know. It's a little risky... But they do go down. They do fluctuate a lot. Um, you know, we're still keeping our eye on the regular access cards there. Uh, you can make a lot of money here, too. That's money all day. I'll show you. Head over to Therapist. Boom. 750 Actually, I thought they were going to sell for, like, the 600 mark. So, it's another one. Another one. I think, what, what was it? 750 Yeah, we'll buy them anyway. There you go. More profit. There's tons of stuff to be bought here on the market, my friends. It is super easy. Now, we are, you know, I think Items of the Week series is 13 episodes deep. And we are running out of the easy stuff. And we are going to be getting into that more in-depth stuff like Armors. Armors is probably one of the best ways in Tarkov to make money. And we are kind of coming to the end of the wipe here. You know, I'm expecting wipe within the next three months, and I'm very excited for it, actually, because I really want to get back into Tarkov. But, um, you know, there's so many things you could be sniping here on Tarkov. What can I say, man? It's it's kind of a learning process, but at the end of the day, there's so much profit to be made. There's so many items and so many different ways that you can make money in this game. I saw the relay in my inventory, so I'm going to use that as another example. You can snipe relays. This is kind of what they cost. Let's do another one. This one always has cash. 8,222. Head on over to Therapist. And we just made a solid 19 rubles, baby. Now, I actually thought it was a little bit higher, but, you know, the, it's exactly the same. Same exact concept. Knowing your prices for Therapist and knowing your prices in general is what is going to make you the most money in this game. Knowledge will make you the most money, and it's as simple as that. So guys, I tried to go over a bunch of different stuff. I showed a bunch of items, so hopefully you guys can have fun with it. Try to learn on your own a little bit. You don't always have to rely on me. I'm going to still be here, but in the meantime, when I'm not, and you guys are looking for a new method, and you want the, the next best thing before I upload it, hey man, now you guys know what to do, or you're well on your way to start knowing what to do. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like on a man helps out the channel a ton. We hit 10k. I don't think I've said that on a Tarkov video yet, so... Thank you guys so much for all my Tarkov members that are joining the membership option next to the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching today. Make sure you check the description, check out all my sponsors, and check out all the equipment I use. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.